Welcome back to the channel guys. Two extra beds in your camper van, let's go. Now then, if you have been with me from the start following my um, YouTube journey, um, first of all, I thank you so much. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for messaging every single week. You may have seen this product before. The, ka the kabunk, the twin kabunk that makes use of that, what would usually be a dead space of an evening, has always been my most successful video on YouTube. Um, the need for that, them extra beds is obviously um, a massive hot topic. I did my own research when I was looking for um, bed solutions. Um, when I was kitting out my van, I come across this absolutely awesome bit of kit. Um, and it's got some real traction since I made that video. Absolutely so happy with that. What I will say is that video that I made was um, way back when. That was on a phone, I think. I think I made that on an iPhone and um, my editing skills, not that I'm a pro now by any stretch of the imaginations, but my editing skills were really poor. You know, I couldn't do this or this. You know, I couldn't even do this, but now I can. Um, so I'm gonna take you for a revisit, just for those people that haven't gone that far, far back through my archive to check this product out because it is absolutely awesome. So what we start with is, comes in this lovely little bag um, so it all gets packed away lovely and discreet so if you're not using this product you can keep it in your garage like I do because um, sometimes you might not take the kids with you and that that, that I feel is the beauty of this product um, it doesn't you don't need to compromise the layout of your van as long as you know this exists so what I mean by that is I know people that um, go away with their grandkids and they've had vans built um, and they didn't need to compromise the layout to provide beds for the for the two grandkids because the two three times a year that they go away with the grandkids they can pack their kabunk and that's absolutely awesome because th them second beds especially in a mid wheelbase van take up so much space um, and van layouts are such a compromise anyway to have to allow for a second bed if you don't need it all the time I mean if you're a family of four and it's always going to be the family of four then your decision may be a little bit different but I know for a fact people are now designing their van layouts based on the fact that they've got a kabunk so they can have more comfortable passenger seats or passenger seats that are removable or um, a rock and roll bed or a rib bed actually you need to allow for the space that it goes into whereas a passenger um, just a standard passenger seat you don't need to do that anyway once again I'm absolutely blown away by this product it's such a cool idea comes in a bag um, you'll get two aluminium extrusion posts now the options you need to figure out for yourself are have you got a step that is a different level to the other side of your van that's the simplest way to put it um, rear wheel drive sprinter um, you've got a step um, four wheel drive sprinter you've got a step that kind of thing or is your floor on both sides of your b pillar the same height um, if you have a step you need to tick the box that says I've got a step because what you'll have is this extendable foot um, that allows for the difference in floor height I'll I'll take you in there and I'll show you in a second exactly what I mean and then the other thing you need to point out is have you got a single and a double or have you got two singles um, this for this product to work you need to have rotating seats. Um, that's the only caveat. This will fit transporters, Peugeot boxes, Citroen relays. Um, as long as your seats swivel, this will fit. Absolutely awesome. So it's not just sprinter um, owners out there. This will, for everybody, you can have two extra beds in your van in five minutes flat. So my previous didn't make too much sense, I don't believe. I have a step this is what I mean so one one of the posts is gonna go over there in that corner up against that side of the B pillar and the other one needs to sit in here so I have a step the front wheel drive sprinters um, the floor is continuous right across here so that means you haven't got a step that's all you need to bear in mind so you're gonna have a post up against each side of the B pillar are they the same height if not you need to tick the box that says, yes, I have a sliding door with a step. I don't know which one of you two has got the 
best light, so I'm shooting from both directions. So we get our kabunk out of our lovely packet that it comes in. Now then, you will learn um, after doing it a couple of times. Um, the first time you, you take it out of its packet, it's like there's poles and straps everywhere. Um, you pretty much work out which part is the headrest and it is quite um, self-explanatory. So you just aim for that. You aim for the headrest going over the headrests of the, um, the kabunk itself. So, uh, of the seats itself. So, pretty much the way we go. So hopefully you can see that. Let me take you in. This is basically four seconds in. You've got the um, logo over there, so that makes more sense. But you need to aim for, there's two poles that go over the back of the um, headrest itself. Like that. Um, and then two poles that will fix to our stanchions in the middle. In a minute, I'll explain that. It, this product works on the fact that it basically has nowhere to go. It's almost like on two fixed points. Like, um, so there's one pole which is extendable. Let me take you around there. It's this one. It's got the stoppers on the end. We're going to aim for those to be on each door card. Right, at this stage, all we've done is thrown two poles over the back of the seat um, and extended the ones with the stoppers on to touch each door card. Um, it kind of rests on the plastic of the door card. Um, I'm going to get the upright stanchions in now, the aluminium extrusion, and I'll show you where they live. So you pretty much rest them in place to begin with. Now they do come with little Velcro tabs on the top. Just um, it's more ease of holding it in place while you put it together. It's not a structural Velcro tab by any stretch of the imagination. There's no such thing. Um, but once you get your head around how to use it, um, I've never used that bit of Velcro. Um, so I place them in place, lean them up against the van and then um, they'll actually be held in place by the poles that are on the front of the kabunk. Right then, um, it's hard for you guys to see because I've got my bridge line fly screen in the way. Um, but what we're going to do, we lay this one down in the um, footwell there, pretty much holds by itself. And then the poles that are in the front of the kabunk, they are telescopic. Um, it's a bit of bit of push and pull but you will get there and then on the top of the extrusion there's these hooks they are adjustable um, but don't go trying to adjust them to where you think they need to be just at the moment all we need to do is get our bed pole through it like that that's going to be at support and I know it just looks like a little hook but believe me these things are strong um, That's it, both poles, top and bottom, in both sides. And at the moment, I'm gonna be honest with you, it looks like a baggy mess. So like I just said, at this stage, it's just an absolute baggy mess that doesn't really make any sense. Um, and this is where the magic happens. You know, we started with the um, seats racked right to the rear. What we do now is rack them right to the front of the van, and, they, and then you've got your beds. Like that, honestly, watch this. Boom. 
absolutely awesome so literally by racking them back we've created like bed cots now i think they're absolutely awesome check them out check them out check them out now what i was saying before um obviously i've already had mine set um but these here literally with a phillips screwdriver and once they are set like i've pretty much just mentioned once they're set you don't need to touch them um this is the extendable leg so i've altered that in the past got that set because that goes into there better explained that one sits in that corner um, so this one is actually longer than the other one you get these set so that they are the same height as that you only do it by eye you don't need a spirit level or anything stupid like that and um, the top one the same and basically as long as they're through far enough and not not too far that your door won't shut that kind of thing you will be absolutely fine so by racking them back the further you rack them back the tighter um, they become and then also you can make them even tauter you know take all of that flex out by actually changing the angle of the seat I um, don't know if I can do that at the same time as you guys watch Cooey. maybe you guys can see from there so you know when you're driving and you change the angle of the back cushion well basically that will if you reach through hopefully you can see how the chair is actually um, the bed is actually beginning to sag you see that so if you rack your bed right the way back and it's still a little bit loose and a bit saggy all you then do is change the backrest and that stiffens it right up absolutely awesome this is a real strong um, canvas material um, don't know exactly what it's made of I want to say like Kevlar but I doubt it's Kevlar um, but absolutely great you know that proper wipe down um, bulletproof kind of material and all of the straps that go over the back um, which are the structure if you like they're all like a seatbelt material um, and obviously we trust seat belts don't we we trust them with our lives so um, that's one of the thinner ones the other ones are actually thicker than that I know for a fact this works this isn't a product that's been sent to me I bought this um, and I bought it a couple of years ago I've used it I just want to show you guys um, because people keep asking me about how to do extra beds and this has always been my favorite way what do you do with that space of an evening once you're at camp yes you can sit facing this way that's absolutely awesome but check that out um, and it basically works on like I showed you before these bars that are up against your B pillar when you apply weight to this section these pull on that that way and these bars pull this way so it works on like a two fixed points kind of setup so it can't go anywhere and what we do you'll notice up around here we've got a tiny little light the curtains we pull them curtains across um, and little one when she jumps up there she's almost got like her own little bedroom she uses that there as a book bookshelf um, puts her iPhone up there that kind of thing um, absolutely awesome there's a charge point there because you know what kids are like with their tablets and their phones and things like that so she charges there sits there got her own light pulls that across got privacy absolutely cracking if you've got two kids they'll be fighting over who goes on the top bunk for sure um, because that's our always coolest and it has actually got the most room now what I will say is I have got the overhead storage which brings that down but there is still so much space there if you didn't have that there as well man you could you could turn around and sit up um, a kid could uh, without bumping their head absolutely great this system is absolutely fantastic so yes this is for children and it's not for big ogres like myself um but this is how much I trust it. I mean, my feet are sticking out the window, don't get me wrong. Um, I will quickly measure the maximum distance. I mean, the maximum distance you get from these beds are the width of your vehicle itself. So 
a T5, the, the cockpit area might be a little less than the Mercedes Sprinter because you're basically window to window. That's your distance. That's what you've got as a bed. My feet are sticking out the window, don't get me wrong. I'm jumping up here. I'm way too heavy for this um, that it's actually certified for, but I trust it so much. I understand the science behind how, how it configures itself. Um, and it's basically, because it's pulling on there and pushing on there and pulling on there, it can't go anywhere. Um, it's absolutely wicked. Two extra beds in your van for no space whatsoever. Real cheap, cheaper than any other seat comes bed solution. Put the link to the product down below. Um, I don't like to say the price of things because everything changes pretty much every month at the moment. Um, but the link to this product is down below. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe and I will see you next Tuesday.